everyone and welcome back to another video. I am doing a tour review of sand. Now this stuff is actually not alive if you've ever heard that. Just saying. Just saying that. Okay. So we're going to have three categories as regular on this tour review. The science category, the plant category, and the cleanup category. So let's get started. What exactly is kinetic sand? Kinetic sand is a three-dimensional building toy made of 80... 98, sorry, percent sand and 2% polymite sonics that mimics the physical properties of wet sand. If you've ever been to the beach, guys, and you've been to the beach, and you have sand and you have to put water on it to make it build right, this has the properties of that. And kinetic sand, it was originally designed for sculpting as modern art, commonly sold, and now is commonly sold for indoor play sand for children. It appears to represent light brown sugar. Yeah, brown sugar feels like this. Just saying, if you want to know a temporary how it feels, it feels like light brown sugar. It can be molded. It sticks to itself, but it is not most other materials than surfaces, and it does not dry out. So, for you kids out there that get mad at Play-Doh when you leave it out, this does not dry out. Booyah! Of course, kinetic sand is made for children, as I said at the beginning. And it can also be made for adults, whoever. So, let's get started on trying this out as playing. It sticks to your hands, as you see, but it's an easy wipe off. And I do not expect this to be getting on your carpet, because it does not come out of carpet other than vacuum and sweeping, which, of course, you do to your carpet anyway. And do not let your children eat this. I would not do that. I would not let my children eat it or anybody else's children eat it. But I don't have children because I'm only 12, so yeah. Okay, and because, guys, it's sand. Who would eat sand? That's just stupid, okay? So you stupid if you eat this sand, okay? But let's go ahead and we can mold. Okay, you can mold it into shapes. You can cut it into shapes. It doesn't even matter. You can even splat it. Well, there we go. Splat. And it's an easy cleanup, as just I said. And here we go. We, you can put it in the circles, and I will build a little tiny snowman. Let's go ahead and make this circle. Ugh. But this is more of a watching toy, I can say myself, because it will start to move. See? Take a look. And see, take a look at that. This will start moving after a while. Take a look at this and squish around it. It doesn't seem to be dangerous at all. Like, it's non-toxic, I know that. But is it flammable? As I learned, this is not flammable. So it's okay to have it around fire, but I do not expect anyone to put this in a fire. Yeah, of course. Okay. So the cleanup is pretty easy. Well, with most toys, you have to scoot it as much in as you can and then pick it up. And then you can just take this and you just pat it down on the other pieces and it fixes it up. There we go. See? There we go. Cleans it pretty easily. But that doesn't. That still doesn't mean that we have to get this all off of it. Just pat it down there. There we go. And this is just a clean playing board. I'd, I'd expect a cutting board for people. And let's just get back. Yes, yeah, so the end, by the end of this tour review, this is an amazing toy, and it's amazing for your children, too. And it's kept clean, and it is a good choice for anyone that does not like to clean, like, and sweep and stuff like that. So, I'll see you guys next time, and please subscribe, like, and comment. Bye!